solidarity is is at this point in history and at every point in history, I guess, indicates to me a gathering of of people and a gathering up of their spirit to join in defeating some sort of limitation or some sort of bound bound on their freedom. And um, so solidarity is people acting together for for the good of the whole. I guess freedom means to me, it's not just the ability to choose, it's, it also has to do with the choices we make as a society to empower people equally and create opportunity because to talk about freedom um, without talking about economic freedom, without talking about freedom for the next generation to have a world they can live in, I mean, it doesn't really make very much sense. You know, it's one of the things that makes us human is the idea to unite behind an idea. And it allows us to expand ourselves in, and, and meld ourselves with the, our will with the will of others. And so, yes, I do see real, while I see a lot of discord and a lot of fighting over things that don't matter and a lot of attention be given to things like Brexit, which are so insignificant relative to the issues to do with climate change, but I'm also seeing in this, this younger generation, a kind of unified crying out about what has to happen for them to be able to have a life. I feel, you know, that freedom for me, as an individual, I think the issue with, our, our issue, fundamental issue with freedom is about getting beyond our conditioning. So the ways in which I'm conditioned the ways in which I'm afraid are limitations to my freedom, but I'm constantly working to raise my consciousness and overcome those limitations. So I'm in a struggle for freedom. I don't know, I mean, there's always better and different ways to become freer, but uh, I certainly see it as, as, it's what I strive for. You know, it's quite clear that Stalinism is a perversion of Marx and a perversion of communism. So I think a lot of good things have come from communism. Communism as an institution, like the church as an institution, like capitalism as an institution, you know, has a tendency to crush people. That's not good. I was, you know, I was very moved by the actions and the strength of personality of Lech Walesa. I remember seeing Matt of Marble. I remember seeing Matt of Iron. Um, I was so, I mean, this, it was, you know, he, his, his voice and what the Solidarity Movement did in Poland was not just an inspiration to Poland, but to all of Eastern Europe to sort of embrace their tradition of freedom and their individuality, the individualities of their various cultures, and to stand up and say, you know, we will not be defeated by, you know, by, by, we will not be afraid. We're going to go forward and we're going to find a way to create a truer, freer society. And it wasn't only about Poland, it was about the entire world. It makes so much sense that the Gdansk shipyard, which was the center and the heart of the beating heart of the Solidarity Movement, should be preserved by UNESCO. I think it's important and I think, listen, there's many, many places in the world that we can build commercial ventures. Let's protect that as a monument to freedom and liberty. I just want to take this opportunity to, to, to express my support of the preservation of the Gdansk shipyard as a monument to freedom and liberty all over the world.